Well, let's get on to something positive now. Um, how did Burn City Crew form? So, like, you, you didn't grow up with these guys, or? I met them at 19, okay. uh, and um, that's when I was trying to get away from, like, the street life. Mm-hmm. And I met them in the I met one Mel. He's a producer. Met him in the club. And um, he had seen me freestyling on this, on this, uh, someone had a VH, like a camera back then. The week before, I found, like, I saw someone holding it. And I was like, I started rapping to it. He happened to see the video that I, like, through that week. And he was like, what the hell? This guy's good. He saw me the next week at the same club. Was like, yo, I make beats. You rap. Yeah, I saw you on the video. I was like, cool. And I was like, cool. I didn't really know how it all worked. And then he was like, I make beats. I'm like, that's dope. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I can be like Dr. Dre. You can be 50 Cent. I was like, yeah, yeah. And um, that was it. And then he introduced me to Castro. uh, And then he introduced me and Castro to Young Philly. Mm -hmm. And that was it. That was a rap, man. We we just started making music on the Windows 98 computer. We had a computer mic. We used to use it. It was so it was so Zed grade, bro. Mm -hmm. But we were just happy that we were like, I was happy that I kind of found this you know outlet man and and if you listen like no one's no one's heard them unless you're like close to me mm-hmm. we made a first mixtape it was a first mixtape back in 2005 never seen the light of day mm-hmm. i've still got it uh it's just filled with what i'm talking about the violence the crime the this the that and the conviction you know if you listen to that and then fast forward to my music now you're like wow what a what a big growth <laughs> that is Jace. you know so i like listening listening to it because it just it reminds me of like how far i've come you know, that's the positive I take out of it, that I'm like, man, I've come a long way and I'm going to keep going. So that's how Burn City formed, man, yeah. through Mel. Uh, and then he got us all together. Yeah. And was it a complete coincidence that you're all Filipino? Co- complete. Right. Complete coincidence that we're all Filipino and that was the, you know, I was the half Filipino in the group. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it was it was crazy. Yeah, I mean, it was just crazy because they were very talented. I was probably the least, bro. Like at that time, or maybe I was third, maybe third in the group. Um, but they really made me believe, like, you know, we could do this. Like, we could actually do this. We ended up making a, we ended up making a booth and a recording booth at, at Castro's house. We used to go there every day, and it was just like it was crazy. It was like I was like, man, I could do this. That's when I started to really think, yeah, maybe I'm I'm going to take this seriously. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Mind you, we didn't have anybody in Australia to look up to. Well, that I didn't look up to. I was just like, I don't know what to do, but I'm just going to rap because I love it. Yeah. Um, okay, so did you have a relationship with Melbourne before he dissed you? None, none, man. None. So, none what? So, we, were Facebook, we were Facebook friends. Right. So I guess it was kind of, because um, I kind of looked at the uh, the whole video as like, yeah, it's like a marketing play, like, uh, you know, you get your name out there, you throw a few names out there and everything like that. But um, but you you responded phenomenally well, um, I must say. And um, and my, I'm, I'm a fan of both of you. Like, um, at one point I said that uh, Melbourne and Ryan King are the only people out of Melbourne rappers that I listen to. But until I found you, like, I had to add you into that mix there. But, um, but yeah, like, uh, what was your first thoughts when you heard... Uh, your name dropped. My first initial thoughts and my first emotions was, um, um, I'm looking for the right word. I felt not happy. I felt really like, um, I felt humbled. Mm -hmm. That's what I felt. I felt very humbled and it was a proud moment Mm -hmm. for me because I was kind of like, that's dope, man. This young kid mentioned my name, and for me, it wasn't a diss. Yeah. That's why I was like, it wasn't a diss. Originally, it wasn't like, it, you know, Little Chase, GMC, once upon a time, it was you guys that I envy. Now I'm making sure that you never forget me. Mm-hmm. Okay. You just said that you used to envy me. You used to look up to me. That's cool because he was a dope rapper. Now, if he was a whack rapper, I would have been like, eh, it's all right. But I was like, man, this kid's actually really good. And he mentioned my name, which made me feel like, wow, I didn't even know I was reaching him. Do you know what I mean? Like, I didn't know that he listened to me. I didn't know that. I didn't know I could, I actually had an effect and people were watching and paying attention. I mean, I did add a couple of numbers here and there, but I was like, 
it just made me think, wow, that's awesome. That is awesome. This kid yeah. recognizes me. I would have been more upset if I would have been upset if he didn't mention me. Mm-hmm. Which is what I think really a lot of rappers were upset about. They're like, how dare he doesn't mention me? Mm-hmm. Like, he didn't even mention me, man. Because if you get mentioned, it means that you were a somebody. Yeah. Even if he missed you, right? Fortify, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, that meant I was a somebody and that it was like, cool. That's not me saying it. That's him. And that's dope because he's a dope rapper. So that was it, man. I actually heard the song when it first came out on SoundCloud with no video. Oh, right. Because oh, he was right. hyping it up on Facebook. And I was like... Who's this kid, man? I don't even know. But I'm like, I stay in tune with the scene. So I'm like, ah, I want to see this song when it comes out and see if it's any good. I'm always doing that. I want to see if anyone's any good. Yeah. And I heard it and I was like, cool, dope. And then I remember I was in this room and I sat there and I was like, and when I heard it, I was half asleep because I was like, I was, I was like, oh, it came out and I just put it, I laid it on my bed and I was just like, I was like half <laughs> asleep and I was like, oh, he's good, he's good. And then, and then like, boom, G- little J's GMC. <laughs> and then um, and then my girl at the time she walks in she's like did that guy just say your name and i was like did he i was like what and rewinded i'm like little jay's gmc i'm like holy crap he did say my name mm. who is this kid i don't even know this kid i'm like cool i'm like that's awesome and then i i i uh, liked it and i left a comment like i think i left like a thumbs up on his thing Mm-hmm. And then he he immediately messaged me. He was like, "Hey, bro, mention your name. I'll, I look up to you, man. You know, da da da. It's all good." I'm like, "Nah, man. We had a full conversation." I'm like, mm-hmm. "I was like, nah, man. You're dope, bro. Props. This that was it. We let we left it. Mm-hmm. That was it. I was just like, cool, man. You're dope. That was it. It was cool. Four months later or whatever, he releases the video. Yeah. And I'm just getting tagged like crazy. People are tagging me, tagging me. I'm like, what the hell is this? And I'm like, oh, it's that kid. I'm like, yeah, I already know the song. I don't. Why? Why, why are they tagging me? You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. why? Bro, he's dissing you, man. But beef, da 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 beef. I'm like, what? Nah, man. He's, it's cool. Like, he's just he's giving he's he's actually giving me props. Yeah. Anyway, as it went on, I started to see the views. I'm like, holy crap, man! This is getting spins. This is crazy. And then Chloria, you know Chloria? No. The the, the female MC. I think anyway, I, I she think gets I the most. Her response. She, yeah. She, she's from Paran. She's from Paran Flats, right? She, so she was the one that did the. Uh, she freestyled over the AO instrumental, yeah. Yep, yep, and she's okay, the one like that had his jacket and was like, "I've got your jacket," and it was his jacket. Really? And, like, <laughs> That's crazy. And she, and she, Chloria is in my 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 bars and facts video. I brought her out for it. Mm. So to be like it's Paran thing like you had her from Paran and me from Paran basically I'm just saying that Paran alone just killed it mm-hmm. um, so that that happened and I was like I saw these views going up I see her go and get like half a million views she gets more views than any of us I'm like whoa and then and then I've got people say, don't do it don't do it get, get, do it and then it was they they uh, who just released some stuff he was like bro just do it man people just want to see it for entertainment you know what it's like wwe it's not real but just go and cheer him like get the chair and just chair him over the head and then one two three you know what i mean and it, it, at the end of the day it'd all be good and i was it's like yeah yeah and i was like and and then they were like then my mate was like bro you'll get you'll get some views for this bro and this is a good time for you to come back in this will be a good springboard mm-hmm. into it i was like you know what on a, on a you and that that is when it then came into like this will be a good marketing thing that's what it, that's when it became that um and i was like well if i'm gonna come in and do it i'm gonna shut it down that's what i'm gonna i'm not leaving any room for any oh uh, who who is the best in this i was like i'm coming in i'm shutting it down mm-hmm. that's it um and that's what i that's what i did i went and done that and then complex goes and makes the ride up yeah little jace ethers melbourne it was just like i was mm-hmm. like that's when I was like, "Whoa!" They compared it to Ether. I'm like, "That's what Sal is my favorite rapper. I can die. I can die happy." Well, it's um, become a verb in, in hip hop now to Ether someone. You know, it's it's the reference. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it's like I was very happy with that. I, I knew that after I recorded it, I was like, "This is this is gonna make some waves." I I can hear what I'm saying. I, I kind of I went. It, it just it, it it took on a life in its own. Mind you, I hadn't written anything for like three years up until then. That was like yeah. me grabbing the for the first time and it was just like boom and then that's when I was like you know what man I can't let this gift just I can't just let it go mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying I don't even work on it I have a natural ability to do it I need to I need to not take it for granted and I need to work at it every day and I need to really take it seriously so you know that that, that was that's that story anyway yeah and I think you're like with your bars and facts track I think it was very strategic because 
you know, you weren't, yeah, you were disrespectful, but it was more so, you know, you referenced like the father son type thing. It was, uh, it was more so, uh, you know, your idols become your rivals type thing. Like, I, I feel like yeah. you just, it was very strategic how you, 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 it was. you, you pieced right. it together. Yeah. You're, you're right. It was. Yeah, definitely. Um, and, and even putting your boy bangs in the video, like that's, that was that was uh, that was fun. that uh, that was I was like, bro, that's what we're... because I'm a battle rapper. Mm -hmm. at, 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 like first and foremost, mm -hmm. I started out battling. Sure. Like I would make battle raps, and I I entered battle raps when I was like 15, 16, 17. I won some, I I, I lost some. I liked the art of it because I'm very, um, like if you know me, if you get to know, like I'm I'm very like I'll roast you. Like I'll just I'll just I'll be on your back all day and roast you and make fun. You know what I mean? Like and. Like I got my roommate. Like we're constantly just going at each other, like with jokes. You know what I mean? And so I'm. I when I can, when I thought of like the bangs thing, I'm like, bro, this is the game over. Bangs is saying that you're embarrassing. That's just embarrassing. You know, what I mean? <laughs> it doesn't get any more embarrassing than that. Yeah. Um. And then the way I went about it, you know, I didn't want to swear in the rap. I didn't want it. I wanted to keep it clean. Uh. I didn't want it to be overly gangster. I just wanted it to be firm. That's what I, I wanted it to be firm. I wanted it to be factual. Bars and facts. This is what I just wanted yeah. it to be bars and facts. Yeah. That was it. And that's what came out. So Yeah. And, and it's yeah. crazy because you say you, you didn't want it to sound gangster, but, you know, you rapped over an Onyx instrumental. Like, it can't get any more okay. gangster than Good that. Break. But you, I understand the lyric content. You know, that's not what you're going for. So, no, it was, it yeah, was it dope. Was, I wanted it to be hard. That's what I wanted it to be. I, 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 I want my raps to to be hard not always the second slice is completely not hard like mm -hmm. it's 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 my friends call it the sexy slice that's yeah. what it's called it's called the sexy slice so it's um the different side of me which is there but you know i i, I just i love my hard raps i love my gangster rap yeah 